Any clue what that could be? Whatever. I'll go check it out. Alright, what is up you guys? It's Katya Bulks. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to this protein powder review. Yes, so we're trying two new flavors today of the 1UP Nutrition Vegan Protein Powder because they came out with three new flavors, but I bought two because I didn't want to buy all three because it was just a little expensive. So yeah, I wanted to pick the two that just seemed the most odd in which we got Key Lime Avocado, which why would you add like key lime and avocado? I would think that they would just make like a key lime flavor, but we'll see how it tastes. You know, we can't judge books by its cover. We gotta judge it by what's on the inside. So, and then the other flavor we've got is caramel toffee macchiato, which sounds so bougie and like white girl that I'm excited to try it. Now, don't take that white girl comment as anything racist or whatever or stereotypical. Anybody can have a caramel macchiato. I just know everybody is so sensitive nowadays. So, anyways, moving on from that, we are going to try these two flavors. I am so excited. I mean, they had a third flavor. What was it again? Ah, so the other flavor is banana bread, which if you guys want me to try that out too, I'm happy to do that as well. But yeah, I've already tried their vanilla, chocolate, and their peanut butter. So you can go ahead and check out those other videos if you want to see what I think about their classic flavors. But otherwise, it's pretty cool to see that they've come out with some wild flavors. It's awesome to see more brands coming out with different vegan flavors because it always started out with just, you know, chocolate and vanilla and then unflavored. So super stoked to try these guys. So I'm going to read the macros, which are identical on both. So that'll be easy. And then we're going to give them a taste test. So luckily, both of them are composed of 130 calories. We got 2 grams of fat, 4 grams of carbs, and 24 grams of protein. And then it's got a full amino profile. Now, unlike some of my other favorite protein powders like live body it doesn't have like any kind of greens blend it's just strictly a vegan protein now i like that it shows that it has the full amino profile unlike other brands like vivo life and stuff that you know don't really give you too much so it's a non-gmo protein complex of pea protein sunflower seed protein and pumpkin seed protein so it's going to give you all the aminos you need to build muscle which is what we need for a vegan protein powder yes so I'm gonna mix these up in my little jar right here because I'm just so hipster. No, I'm just kidding. I just don't have like a clear shaker cup and I like to judge it without the shaker ball. See how well it shakes with or mixes with just water for you guys. So I'm gonna just start with, let's go with the macchiato first and save the key lime for last. All right, catch you in a bit. All right, you guys, so I have it all mixed up right here. And let me tell you, when I opened up that tub, I was like, wow, did I just walk into Starbucks? No, we didn't. We just smelled an amazing vegan protein powder. So it mixed very well with the water. It took a minute. It was getting clumpy at the bottom, but that's okay, because now it's all mixed up. Maybe because it's mixed with water, I can't smell it as much, but let me tell you, the tub smells so good. So let's see how it tries, or let's see how it tastes. Duh. Mmm, that's really good, you guys. Mmm. I like that. Oh, yeah. Caramel flavor is not very strong, but like the coffee flavor, macchiato, kind of cappuccino flavor, very much comes through. I would love to try this as one of my protein ice creams um, and then just add some Walden Farms caramel just to add to the caramel but I think that would be absolutely delicious. I'm gonna give this like 9 out of 10 just because it's missing that caramel flavor in it, but it's pretty darn good. So I'll finish this off and then we'll try the avocado key lime. Yeah, that'll be interesting. All right, now we got the key lime avocado. And let me tell you, when I opened that, it was just like, wow, when life gives you limes, just make some key lime pie, I guess. But yeah, you can't really smell avocado. So we'll see how it tastes. But yeah, it mixed very well. Super smooth, so let's try it out. Oh yeah, that smells limey. Hmm, 
This is interesting. This is... It's kind of weird. Ugh, how do I feel about this? Like... Man, okay, honestly, this is difficult to say because it's it's just weird. Like it doesn't taste bad, but I'm like I'm not like oh my gosh, you guys go buy this flavor because this is just uh, maybe this should have just stayed in their test kitchen and not been like released because it's kind of uh, I don't think many people are going to like this. This is just the lime is just a little too pungent, but not in a sour way, just flavor wise. Um, I don't really taste like avocado in it. I, I don't <laughs> I don't know how to describe you guys. Like it's so weird. Now, with both of them, they are fairly smooth. I will say they have a tiny bit of grits. It's not quite smooth as a baby's bottom, but it is a little gritty. So it's some people I know are picky about that, but if you are gonna mix it in a smoothie, it's not gonna be bad. But I'm sure if you make this as a protein ice cream, add some milk or almond milk, whatever you want to use, this probably would come out good. But with water alone, I want to give it like a 6.5 out of 10. Like, I don't really recommend it. Um, yeah, I'm going to just have to try it out. I mean, I'm going to keep it. I'm not going to return it or anything because um, I do kind of like it, but I'm for sure not going to be just drinking it alone with water. So if you do want to buy it, I recommend just using it as for like a slushy. You can make like a protein mojito or something because it almost resembles like mojito flavor to me. Just add a little bit of alcohol. Just kidding, don't do that. But anyways, yeah. I'm gonna just finish this up and then we will wrap up this video. All right, my friends. So we are at the end of this review. So I hope you did enjoy it. And my consensus on these two protein powders. Now I absolutely recommend the caramel macchiato. I think it's so delicious very different from the cinnamon coffee cake from live body because like the flavor sounds it's cinnamon coffee cake so not much coffee where if you want a coffee-ish flavor that's going to be your best bet otherwise the key lime avocado i don't as much recommend i would say buy it at your own discretion if you are like a diehard lime person then go for it but otherwise i'm like meh i definitely wouldn't buy it again but the macchiato is so bomb can't quite remember how much it costs. I think it was like 40 bucks and they have about 25 servings. So it's a fair price for what you get, but you just remember it doesn't have like a fruits and veggies blend, which I just like that added in my protein. But if you're looking for something just post workout, go ahead and try these guys. If you want me to try the banana bread flavor, let me know in the comment section below. And if you haven't already, click that subscribe button turn on that notification bell and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Otherwise, yeah, stay tuned for that next video. I don't know when it'll come out because, you know, I'm kind of sporadic with my videos nowadays with work and stuff, but I hope you are all safe during your quarantine. Love you guys, and yeah, go get those gains. Bye.